Look at this beautiful, beautiful setting, guys. Would you believe this is actually a train track? Kaohsiung's LRT, Light Rail Transit, here in uh, Kaohsiung, Taiwan. You're going to try it out for the very first time. I haven't tried LRTs even in Taipei, but we're going to try it out. Look at this. How beautifully set, actually, this station. And that is the, those are the stops. They look uh, very modern and clean and very futuristic. We can cross here. These actually look like trams. I thought these were trams, but these were technically the LRT. Check it out. Now all I have to figure out is which direction to go. Oh, I always get it wrong. We are here, Kaohsiung Exhibition Center. I've been trying to figure out which one it is actually, the exhibition center. Could not. We are here, and I think, I don't know which direction it is. Love River is west of Ka uh, Kaohsiung. That's the direction that I want to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know uh, center? Where are you heading? To Love River, the... Love River. Uh, you know, uh, Pier Art Center? I'm not sure if that's that way. But Love River is that way though. The piers and the docks, it's that way. It's that way. Yeah. Uh, this is, that is towards the south. It's towards, oh yeah, but it's a circle, so it's kind of like towards the south and then to the north. Oh, it goes, it comes to the same place, all the... All the... Oh wait, which center of what? Does it come, uh, is, it, is it a circle so it comes to the same place? It's currently not a circle yet, it's like a three quarter. Ah, oh, okay, okay, so it doesn't do the full circle. <laughs> really? Okay, okay. Uh, Pier Art Center, near CG1. CG1? Shi 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. it's that way. It's that way? Ah, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Shi Shi. No Shi Shi. Where are you from? I'm from India. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been here for one month. This is my last last uh, four or five days. So, well, what do you do here? Are you from Kaohsiung? Yeah, I'm from Kaohsiung, but I study Taipei. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is your vacation time. Your English is fantastic. Yeah. How, do you uh, learn in English in uh, oh, school? Oh, in English, no. Uh, yeah, I learned. I learned a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, I was in the states for summer. Ah, uh, that's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Warren. Warren? Yeah. Hash. Hash, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. It's not safe there. No, 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 it's not like here. It's not very safe in the... Especially in San Francisco. I've been there too. Oh, I'm a programmer. Oh. Yeah, I do YouTube on the side. It's not my main work. Yeah, I can work online, so... Oh, I see. So I live in London, but I, have not, I haven't been to London for like... I only go there to check my mails and like meet friends. I can work whenever. Yeah, I don't have to work nine to five. And okay, it's yours. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So there is one going in the other direction. That's not what we want to take, though. Let's investigate the. Uh... Ah, you have to touch here. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You can actually, yeah, you can actually buy the ticket here. You have an English option. Not very complicated. You can buy. A single journey ticket, and I don't know what the deal is about the QR code. I think it's for like you know, you know, people who you don't have to pay or have some type of discount. Uh, they do have these QR code scanners in the bus as well, so might be something to do with that. Single journey is thirty dollars, Taiwanese dollars that is. So that's like one dollar. That is cheap. All right, it's all covered in like taking care of the machine. I guess these are these stations are new, maybe. Please tap the card on the sensor only once for one-way journey. Do not tap the card again when you get off. Maybe that's just for the LRT. I've been doing tapping at both times when I get on and get off of the bus, but this one maybe. All right, 226. But it only took 10, though. So this is probably cheaper. It only, only took 10 time in his dollars. That's like, I don't know, less than half a cent. Place for wheelchair users. I wonder, I saw that building from the uh, amusement park on top of the largest uh, mall in Taiwan, which I did a video on yesterday. Check it out if you haven't seen that. So many cool buildings in this area. This is some kind of like, this is a wharf. There are like boats docked and like ships docked here. And that maybe is the Kaohsiung Exhibition Center, I don't know. And the uh, 85 Sky Tower, the tallest building here is that one. And our LRT is here. Oh, this doesn't open. Or oh, maybe he can. Let's do open. Ooh, it's kind of full. All 
Let's stand here. 当车时请全程紧。There's another one inside as well, but I did touch outside, so I'm not going to do that again. The uh, driver area. Oh, this is a really beautiful outside to look at. Yeah. This is how the inside looks like. If you're wondering. Hey. <laughs> as usually, you cannot eat or drink. 1,500. Well, it's uh, pretty steep, I think. No, it's like 30 dollars, 50 dollars. Uh, all right. We got off at one stop called Lao Pier. So even though the technical name is a lati, the uh, the uh, the announcements refer to it as tram. So it is both, I guess. All right, we will get out here and explore the pier area. And there is a bridge called the Great Bridge or something like that. And here's the Lao Pier stop. Wow, look at the city here. It's official. This is my favorite city in uh, Taiwan so far. Look at this. There is uh, some sort of thing here. Huh, there's some railway lines here. Why is, what is this for? A lot of people here. Oh, what is that? Look at that. I'm not exaggerating. It's actually really, really nice. So we have a, a few boats there docked on that end. Private boats, it seems like, by the looks of it. Yachts. Uh, probably not the size of the yachts. It's just small boats, actually. And we have, oh, there's, there's one yacht there, bigger one, and a bigger ship. That's the 85 Sky Tower, where we got on the uh, tram, Lati. Oh no, this architecture is stunning actually here. Look at these buildings. Those ones are kind of old, but the new ones, even the old ones, the sky tower is actually not bad. Looks a bit uh, dim, but, but the other ones here, pretty cool. Apartment, residential complex, I think. Not really sure what this is for. Maybe half done or an old railway bridge. Looks like, it a looks like a, the railway. Yeah, it looks like an old railway bridge, right? This yeah. decommissioned or something. Yes. It's scary. <laughs> Right. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, it looks like, look at the iron thing. It looks like an old iron bridge, railway bridge. It's cool to walk on. So I have, I was having a look at the uh, route of the LRT, the tram, and there are a lot of like interest. It stops at all the uh, tourist attractions or the interesting points, like there were several museums, the piers. And so it's a very good idea to just use the LRT to, to, to get to the main places. Like you can just stay on that, uh, sort of like quarter circle, as the guy was saying. Nice, I like it. All right, it's a beautiful day. Look at the view, the skyline of Kaohsiung. Pretty cool. It's a lot of photo opportunities. Not really sure why they're supporting the trees like that. Maybe to nudge it in the right direction to grow. Probably don't want it to bend or anything like that. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this place now? There's a ship that belongs to Taiwan Coast Guard. So I think this thing is called Sea Breeze Plaza. Maybe it's built in the shape of waves, these ones here. And there's a dolphin walkway. Not really sure whether that has something to do with the actual dolphins. Whoa. This is actually an impressive building. When you look at it from this angle, I think this probably is a wave towers and that's the Sea Breeze Plaza. There is a big, big cruise ship over there. Resorts World One, I know about this one. This, these guys actually have cruises to Hong Kong from here. Not the cheapest, uh, but I think uh, you have to book valid advance to get a spot on that. You can go to Kluk to reserve it. I've seen that on Kluk, Resorts World One. Uh, as far as I'm aware, but yeah, I wouldn't be doing that anyway because it's too expensive. Guy fishing over there. Wow, you probably should get one of those umbrellas. When walking here, it's already 5, 4, 30, but still it's uh, very hot. That is the humongous cruise ship. 
there are like interesting things that they have built on the uh, this boardwalk over here. Probably do not climb. Artwork done by local artists. And there's also like a, some sort of like a dorm thingy over there. A big park. Let's go check out the park. So this thing is made of chairs collected from different schools from around Taiwan. Represents the childhood and the memories we collect along the way. This is the inside. And I think this is also part of the Pier 2 Pier Art Center that uh, we are going to see. Probably a beginning of it. Look at it. How many chairs? I'm not really sure. They are, they are not bolted, but they are kind of like, you know, placed onto these metal bars. Uh, it's not a full, full sphere. It cuts off there. So this thing was built in uh, 2016. How do I get out? Not very uh, old. Oh, right, there's some, something else here as well. That is just smack in the middle of a tree, <laughs> a big tree. Dajio Love River Forest. Oh, there's a QR code for English. Oh, you are you work here? Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, See, guide. Uh, uh, is this a Dai warehouse? Dai, Dai, Dai. Yes, dai. Okay, okay. Here's Dai. Oh, the whole thing is Dai. Yeah. Okay. Dai. Right. Here is Dai Park. Okay. Park. Is this Pier 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 Art Center? Yeah. Pier Art yeah. Center, the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Starts. Okay. This is part of. Part of the art center. All right. Let's go up and check it out. Xie xie. <laughs> oh, looks like an S. Hopefully I'm fit enough to climb. Oh, it slips. Yeah, you need to be careful. Yep, it's slippery, that's the only. This is what it looks like from above. Let's, uh, let's see if we have a view of uh, Kaohsiung. Oh, that's, those are the towers that we just saw. All right, okay, so it's one way, so that is good. All right, here it becomes a little bit more steeper. That's why you need that the steel bars across. That's how we went up. Let's hold on tight to the rails. Really don't want to cut the video because I fall down. And uh, these are the Dagi warehouses of some historical significance, I presume, I don't know. Hello. <laughs> if only I could find out what these actually were originally, but at the moment we have a cafe. What is this? Sunny Hills Lab. Pineapple custard. A place that sells those things. Maybe another time, not now. Let's make our way to the Great Bridge. It says warehouse, VE live warehouse. So like a performance center, something like that. These buildings are pretty cool. Cafes, stage, banana, wonderful life. No, wonderful life. I suspect in the olden times, these were used as, used as uh, warehouses for things that came through uh, via the shipping, through the port. The ships probably used to dump their cargo here in these warehouses. That's probably what these were. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool sight. Instagram lovers should come here. Let's avoid getting hit by the kid. That's what it's called, Pier 2 Art Center. It's not just for a place to see and, you know, come and see, but it's also a place to have food. Blossoming posture, designed by T. Tal Art. What is it? Oh, this one, on the top. It's quite fun to walk in the middle of these things. Why don't more tourists come to Kaohsiung? That remains a mystery. Look at it. An art center, a pier, a cool bridge. Have a look at that thing on the top. Pretty cool. Looks like something from a sci-fi movie. And on this side, you have another alien looking thing. All right, let's go check out the Great Harbor Bridge. And I think, uh, Someone has dropped a whole bunch of group tourists here. That says Kaohsiung Port Depot over there. Great Harbour Bridge, built by Taiwan International Ports Corporation. 
All right, it's supposed to look like a seashell. You tell me, does it look like a seashell? Yeah, it does look like a seashell, I suppose. Now you think about it. Whoa, that is an amazing view. Nice breeze here, and also some much deserved shade for me. Look at the bottom of it. And on the other side, you can see something like that. Kaohsiung Port Depot. All sorts of like, all sorts of like cafes and stuff like that inside. This is great. Yeah. Hey. All right, this is how it looks like from above. We're inside a seashell. It's windy, so quite nice actually. Windy in a good way. What a cool spot to come and hang out. The only thing is, you need to make sure you are in the shade or have an umbrella. Or have a high concentration of melanin in your <laughs> skin. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Maybe we can get a juice or something if they have. Oh, it's actually a food court. Coffee, I know this one, I've seen this in the Dream Mall. I need a Coke Zero, that's what I want. Pretty cool. Look at that, how they stacked up the uh, baskets. I don't think I'll be able to acquire a Coke Zero from here because these all look like you know, boutique stores. Look at that, on the top over there. That's how we used to look like in the olden days, I think. Those are the ships taking the baskets out of it, unloading the cargo. There's something called as a hollow park, which has all sorts of like bars, burger places, and even a merry-go-round and a London double-decker bus. That is Qigong or Qigong, something like that, I think. Tai Chi. Still very much a, an active port. Now, this is something called as the Hamazan Museum of, Museum of Taiwan Railway. Look at that. I think these were the uh, cars, train cars and trains that took the uh, cargo from the port and distributed to the rest of the Taiwan or brought cargo to here to be exported. Look at it. That looks like a small model track. Probably not functional now. Looks like that. So this is a museum, but uh, we're going to check out the, uh, you know, on the maps, Google Maps, you can actually see the tracks on those fields over there. Probably good to check that one out first. So this is a museum, I think. I'm not really sure. So it's like, uh, it's probably like 150 for the museum. All right, I'm gonna check out the field first and then probably be back, or maybe not. But uh, it was good to stand in the AC for a little while. <laughs> Small model of the train. I think you can sit on it. You actually can sit on it. Like you can see. There they go. I think it's like a small loop around. I'm surprised though, it can actually pull all those passengers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten adults. Okay, it comes onto these tracks over here and goes back, I think. Or oh, maybe they go like that. Will they switch? No, they're going straight. <laughs> so this is the actual, these are the actual tracks here. So many of them leading up to the port. It actually crosses over that road over there, that street over there, and then goes even beyond that. And if you look at Google Maps, it actually stops at the port. Train engines over there, and uh, some art installations, a big model of cargo, or something like that, like a, a porter trolley over there, and an old train over there, a couple of them. Look at this thing, an oldish engine. Where is that? All right. Let's go to the end of the line. All right, this is the very last stop where it switches its directions. 
do the uh, lines end here. Yeah, I think uh, they're building more on the other side to complete the circle, but it's not a full circular loop yet. It just stops here. Driver has gotten out and went to the front. Now it will go back in the other direction. So there ends our LRT expedition. That's where the constructions are taking place. And we have a Tesla showroom here. I have no idea about the models of Tesla. That is definitely not a Tesla. What model is this? So this is Love River here. There is also a flyover kind of situation. See, look at that building over there. It looks like you can actually walk on those and there are walkways on uh, another bridge over there. I'm gonna end the video over there and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to walk around, chill, and uh, go back to my accommodation. Meow. <laughs> you can see there's like uh, some small fishies. There are like big fish over there too. What are they doing? Are they drinking water? So I think that is a temple. This symbol here is often associated with the Hitler and all that. But it's actually a Hindu symbol, ancient Hindu symbol, I think. But it's, uh, I'm not really sure now that I see this in, uh, in a Chinese temple. But I, I thought it was an ancient Hindu symbol, the symbol, the swastika. Thank you.